Welcome to a half euro cylinder that Talan Pick sent to me. It's a Rotu Lock. Never heard of this brand before. Probably Spanish brand. The label on the key says uh, commercial pin in quotes by Talan. That's the bidding on the key. <laughs> Pretty wild bidding and you can immediately see what the trick of this lock is. It's pin number 5. So lock works, no problem. I picked it a couple of times before yesterday. Um, yeah, and the last pin is the tricky pin. Okay, I turn it uh, counterclockwise and start with my, oops, wrong, wrong pick. Start with my Sparrows Hybrid. So, one, two, three, four is binding. Got a little click here. Oh, I put it upside down. <laughs> oh, that's two, three, little click, four again, nothing from five. I have to change picks later on to reach all the way down to number five. So, but now I'm hunting for a false set. Ah, oops, here we go, got a false set. And now let's check pin one. Yeah, it's giving counter rotation. Very nice counter rotation. Okay. Usually there is, I think, pin three giving counter rotation, but I might have set it out of order. But with this pick now, you don't get anything out of this lock anymore. Ah, from five you get it. You get a little bit of counter rotation, but it stops immediately. So this pick is definitely not deep enough. So I change picks to a deeper hook, but I can't get it in like so. So I have to get it in sideways, then turn it and then pull it out and try to stop at the last pin and therewith put it on top of the pin and then try to carefully set the pin. And sometimes the pick gets stuck doing this. Let's see if this works this time. Ah, great. And now lock is open, but the pick is stuck. Maybe I can get it out. <laughs> or I have to disassemble the lock with the pick inside. Ah, got it out. All right. So that's really a fun pick. Pretty curious to see what's inside. Probably two or three spools. Uh, I don't lock it back up, but instead I will try to get the clip off with this great tool that Talon Pick sent to me. It's a bandy clip and this should bend right open. Wow, this is so nice. This is so easy to do. Clip should come off. Okay, now I need a follower. All right, here we go. It's a six pinner, not a five pinner. All pins are in and working. Ah, you can see, key pin six is very low. So let's dump them out. So we have the plug, everything round, maybe a little bit of enlargement but nothing really major. You can see it's a used lock from the marks of the driver pins here on the, on the plug. Yeah, nothing special here in the Bible. We can see two anti-drill rods here on the, uh, on the bottom and a little bit of filing or 
damaged uh, uh, ants here. All right, give you a close up of the pins for a final picture. The key pins are all serrated towards the shear line, maybe as a bump or rake protection. Key pin number one is actually not a key pin, but it's a driver pin with two deep serrations. Looks like a Chi Chi driver or similar. And number five is a very long key pin protecting number six, which is very short. The drivers are spools in one, three and six, and more or less standard pins in two, four and five with a little bit of tapering. The sprues are pretty cool with uh, loops that are wider uh, on the ends and are narrower in the middle. And other than that, uh, standard pins, so to speak, or commercial pins. All right, that was a very fun lock sent to me by Talan Pick. So, buddy, thank you very much again for this interesting lock, a roto. Yeah, and everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye-bye.